I'm not sure how the view lobby is going to go. If it stays like this, because I know I've always had worse, um, whatever it's called. Lag has always been worse in view lobbies for some reason. And hey, well, I'm not the glamorous streamers, so we're going to be the misty streamers. <laughs> and then the full cone snail team. Respect it. There's a bit of lag when I launched a while ago, but not like you're lagging. Maybe I should like close and reopen the game. I don't know if that'd make a difference, but yeah, because I assume it's all on server side. Uh, I'm gonna buy the apple. Like <laughs> I do like having a magpie. So I'll do that. Take one of these, then move one of those for him as well. Oh my god! Is this it? Like <laughs> the final one. One of these lag spikes is just going to be it, and then the game will never start again. I like this hat. I don't know if I've ever worn it myself. I definitely haven't like actively chosen it, but I don't think I've ever had it from my random selection either. I've got the lag. I know, it's been like this for an hour. It's been worse, to be fair, but... And hold on, penguin? I already have the penguin. Well, I'm still buying them, but yeah. What I think I do here is maybe like combine the cone snails, sell possum, sell silk moth, buy urchin, buy penguins maybe separately and just hope they don't all hit each other. Yeah, actually, I can stack them and then like roll for another tier two. <laughs> Wait, so is this a hits multiple things? No, it hits one thing even harder. I'm just gonna buy that, I think. Like, it's definitely better than a squid. So we'll do that now. Meerkat. I refuse. I refuse to buy this meerkat. Alright, you can hit that, though. You can still go to the front. Sap finally getting griefed by bots. I don't know, like... I do wonder, like, how their, um... Server situation is. Because I still can't imagine... I don't know. Sap getting attacked by bots and it, like, destroying their servers. I feel like it can't be that intense. Well, I'm definitely buying the magpie, because this one's huge. I just want to get that, like, next turn. Uh, let's play... Let's save some gold this time. I'm going to play that now, and then just stack the magpie, and then I roll for, like, more penguins. Maybe another magpie. Probably not going for level 3 cone snail, even though I do need the achievement. Come on, game. You can do it. Come on, please. It hurts. Oh my god. <laughs> it's actually so bad. Yeah, I've already had the sea urchin. This thing is 1-1 one, one bigger than normal, but I don't think I... I don't think I care. I'm, I'm fairly close to getting rid of that soon. I'll buy both of those next turn, I think. Could maybe have sold the sea urchin just to buy the magpie, but I don't want to lose HP for no reason. Not that I have a guarantee that I won't anyway. Every move you make takes forever. Their serves are definitely getting overloaded. Mm. I'm just hoping it clears up soon. At least this is, like, manageable. Like, this isn't so painful that I, you know, want to delete the game forever. <laughs> this is, it's just annoying. Like in the viewer lobby, sometimes you'd have to wait, like, 30 seconds between rounds or something. Like, extra. That was way worse. Okay, early sea lion. Love it. How about you? Uh, early dart frog. Maybe. It doesn't do much yet, though. I think, buy this. I think I'm going to sell the sea urchin, because then I can maybe buy the dart frog and then the penguin. Then, depending where the buff goes, it'll kind of dictate what I'm doing for the rest of the run. Like if it hits the Poison Dart Frog, I'm probably going for the Poison Dart Frog achievement. If it hits the Sea... Well, even if it doesn't hit the Sea Lion, I'm probably keeping that for quite a while. I'd rather it not hit the Cone Snail, though. It's like the one thing I don't want it to go on. Alright, that's fine. It's already very large. Uh, you can just sit at the back. I like this thing going on. So we're buffing the HP for the sea, uh, the Magpie by both of these things. These guys can just sit at the back. I don't really think the Poison Dart Frog's it. <laughs> risk of exploding yet. 
Although maybe the sea line should be right at the back, because I'd probably rather have HP on these things as well. Yes. Oh god, this game is just like... Oh, he's getting stuck on everything. Snail has been stuck in the shop for 30 seconds. That sounds like great fun. Oh, I managed to buy things, like, kind of fast. Yeah, I don't care about any of these. I could freeze letters to buff the sea line in the dark frog next turn, but I think we're good. I will move that to the back, though. I do wonder, though. I want to get, like, a full sea lion win. <laughs> I want to know how viable that is. Sadly, that hasn't eaten any of the um, penguin stats, so probably can't rely on it too hard for this run. Cone snail achievement loading. I don't want it. I don't want the cone snail achievement. I need it, but I'd rather go for one of these two. Oh, but they're still giving it to me. Fine. We have so much money as well. Uh, not going to buy avocados. Uh, lettuce is more tempting, but I feel like the dart frog doesn't really have a place on this team. I'd rather go like double. Yeah, I'd rather go double C line. <laughs> Which is exactly what I'm going to do, alright? I'll still only have two tier fours, so I still don't think I'm going to be buying lettuce, though. Oh, come on, game. There we go. And you know what? I think bananas are well worth it. So you can have one. You can have one. And then I will keep rolling because I'm addicted. Come on, please. It's evolvable. Hello. I hope you haven't been, I don't know, experiencing these server issues as well. <laughs> Wait, was that like an auto shout out thing there? What? Servers suck. I had no idea. But it is, it's been bad. It's been like coming back in waves. Sometimes it seems to be fine and then it gets really bad again. I'm hoping it's not going to last like, you know, this for the full stream. I just want it to be okay for the view lobbies. If it's like annoying for the arena games, then fine. But like bad viewer lobbies can get really rough. No. No. The weakness. Uh, yes, no, I definitely want this. I may wait for next turn. Not really sure. Hold on, what do I want, actually? Because if I'm going for the... For this guy, I'm probably not using his ability at all. I like having this on my team, because it's both big and kind of useful. Uh, the penguin doesn't really have a reason to stay for too long, but he's also kind of big at the moment. I don't know, I'd probably buy... Should I just, like, buy waffles on this? Yeah, those are like decent stats. If they go in nice places, then it's pretty good. I like it. I like it. Okay, sea lion definitely staying, and I can save the rest of my money. I will be combining him next turn, though, and just running like one massive sea lion. There we go. <laughs> Alright, I have a feeling these three are probably going to be on my team for like the rest of the game. Uh, Penguin probably not, and obviously this guy's getting combined into the first one. But Penguin's done good work. Like, I appreciate the stats. Now, the question is where I put chocolate if I find a load of that. I could keep pumping the sea line and, you know, try and get that to level 3. <laughs> I think I do, honestly. Yeah, I think I do that, then I combine, and then I buy the waffle. Probably buy the tier 6. I don't hate it. I don't hate it at all. I'm gonna buy it first. Come on. <laughs> it's so annoying. Alright. Okay, hit the sea line or the grizzly. I guess the grizzly doesn't really need it. It's attack centric, so. Eh. That's fine as well. Uh, Silver Fox doesn't do anything. Crane can be pretty cool. I'm wondering if it's worth getting rid of the penguin for it now, though. I mean, yeah, I think we can probably get to the end of the game, like, very soon. So we can do that. I'm going to stick it behind the sea line because it's the only one without equipment at the moment, and it still has decent lots of things. 
Uh, you can definitely buff HP on everything, though. So, yeah, run it this way. Should not have bought cow, now your milk is in loading hell. <laughs> you just want to make, like, the most efficient turns possible. Like, minimize rolling, buying. Just do as few things as possible. And welcome, Firehead. You're just in time for laggy sap. By which I mean, you know, we're like an hour and 15 minutes into it. <laughs> but it still feels like it's just started. He's had a dragon game and it was painful. It's been a while since I had a good dragon game. I'm jealous. Uh, well, that's going to happen. Kind of want to put one on here as well, but I don't think we need it yet. And the sea line itself isn't scaling, so at some point I'm going to need to move the crane onto something else. I can't use the oyster because I refuse to sell this. And avocado. Uh, sure, I will buy an avocado and then I'll keep rolling. Or roll once at least. Come on, game. Please. I'm actually going to move this as well, because I, I really need this thing to not get one shot. This thing is like basically the same size as the sea lion, so... Yeah. We'll do that. Playing Luppy Landlords after your funny shooter game crashed. You didn't win, so you gave up. Wait, do you mean you quit your funny shooter game so you gave up and played Landlord, or... You also lost at Landlord and then you came here? We're so close to the end. I need to find like a level up for the sea lion or the cone snail. Definitely not buying pretzels. It is a 2-2, which isn't terrible, but yeah, we need to roll for chocolate. I, I kind of want to get the grizzly bear leveled up as well because I feel like we need it. Same with the crane. They could both be really good. Like just getting like a pitch bread on here and then leveling that could be nice. Okay, that is amazing. Come on. I want to buy this. Maybe I don't. Maybe I'm okay with the monkey. Because it's like a fifth of a trigger for the grizzly bear, and it is a 4-4. Four, four. I'm going to leave that for now. Okay, and I'm starting with this just because I want it leveled up. Okay, bird of paradise. Obviously, it's fine, but we don't get one trigger out of it a turn, and yeah. We already have our sea lion. We don't need it. For now, I will continue to roll. I think that is great, even if it's not really scaling yet. We're still, like, early in the game, so assuming we can win fast, we probably don't need to scale that much. We can just let the game play. Also, I'm loving the number of hits we're getting out of that. Like, <laughs> look, we got a bear trigger off the magpie alone. Got, like, four hits plus the monkey. Although, that was a sad loss. Very close. Okay, more magpie. No, not needed. Uh... I guess we get rolling then. I really don't know if I put a potato on here. I don't want it to get sniped, but... Yeah, I can't afford for that to get sniped. Alright, take that then. We're still going to leave that. Love this. Oh, instant level up. Okay, great. I'm going to take one of these as well, because I feel like this thing is going to get very healthy very quickly. So if we can get that um, some pita bread, it can probably get more trades in, and it'd be a lot more value both for itself and for the grizzly bear with like 15 extra HP. Like, there's no way we're at the stage where this thing is going to get one shot already. You gave up playing, so hopefully your lag is 0.1 seconds faster. I hope so. If the game was actually, like, you know, 0.1 seconds laggier for every person playing, then that would be absolute hell. Z-Boss, hello. Welcome back. Okay with this, right? Yes. Okay, cool. And that was bold. Amazing name. One more win, please. I am extremely desperate. Desperate and afraid. <laughs> yeah, at some point I do need to move the magpie in front of the crane, I think. Because this thing is, is going to be a lot healthier and more like guaranteed value. Could try and get this level up, but I can't do it this turn anyway. Let's go for it. Let's see if we can get a double achievement this game. If 
I somehow lose. But I'm not going to throw. Like, I'm I'm going to leave everything where it is. Again, I do think it'd be better to put the magpie in front of the crane, but... We still have a lot of HP to spare, so for now, I'm going to leave it how it is. Once we're at, like, 1 or 2 HP, then I'll probably try for optimum optimum order. Yeah, I'd still like to see the cone snail achieve if I can. Never mind, we got the win. Alright, there we go. <laughs> See you later, achievement. And Kalu, thank you for the 12 months. The tier 2 sub. Subbing for the desperation. Oh, there's, there are worse reasons to sub. <laughs> no, thank you very much, Kalu. It's very kind. And hey, look, we got a win. We got a trophy. Uh, a ribbon, I mean. Okay, how much longer? There's like 20 minutes. I, I just have to pray. I have to pray that this is going to be fine by view lobby time. Like, this is manageable, but... Yeah, if it gets worse... Hold on, let me pay that out, actually. Otherwise, I am going to forget. That new background, nice. Okay, we're buying a possum. I am also getting the cone snail. And I'm going to freeze an apple and roll, because I don't want a groundhog. Uh, another possum. Start with the other possum, but freeze magpie. I don't really want a silk moth either, but... I don't know, it could have been okay. Be the purple stickers. And let's see where it goes. Okay, solid. So there's no, like... <laughs> that was like a firehead. Thank you. I shall drink again. Yeah, I love winning the first round because it means there's like no pressure to win the second round. Or rather, it doesn't hurt if you lose. If you lose, you get your health back immediately. So it's like as good as a draw. Uh, I kind of want to do that. Just like buy a goose or something. Yeah, I think it's fair. But I'm not getting the goose. I'm going to get a chipmunk. Otherwise, we're going to be buffing something and we're probably going to be running like a frontline cone snail, which I'm not a huge fan of. I feel like every other time I use a goose, it ends up just being wasted. Yeah, see? Like, it would have been terrible. It would have done nothing. But, nah, we're fine. Alright, cool. Uh, Hercules beetle? Or sea turtle, maybe? I've already had the... That. Let's get the Hercules beetle. Right, I'm just going to combine that by this. I'm going to leave the rest. Uh, no, a door head ant I'm okay with, though. We'll take that. Maybe freeze a cherry. Uh, yeah, no. And then buy the cherry. I'm going to throw it on here, though. Okay. So, as soon as the chipmunk dies, this jumps to the front. It's going to be a 2-6 with cherries. Yeah, that's not terrible trades, but these are terrible. Terrifying. Alright, of course. Now we start losing HP. Uh, squids, we do actually have some trumpets already. And I have no interest in the chipmunk, so I could like get rid of that now and run. Probably just going to stack these. I, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this, but... I don't know if it's worth running double thing already. Yeah, I want to go for the combination. I'm, I'm going to just stack it. I feel like it would be slightly stronger, but I can maybe save money by, yeah, combining next turn. Or, no, sorry. Combining now. Okay, now I'm happy. Let's do this. Bicel penguin, hope it hits, like, anything that isn't the possum. And then end on other squid, and then we can... Combine next turn and save one gold for the magpie. Oh god, it suddenly got a lot worse. You bet 100 balls on this one. Hey, I can only win if the game gets that far. <laughs> I feel like I feel like the server suddenly got a lot worse. Oh god. Okay. Uh, well, I need you to die first, otherwise my squids won't trigger. So, yeah, possum to the front, then this jumps ahead of the squids, and then everything's fine.
I do want to get better trumpet generation than, you know, <laughs> one cherry. It is enough at the moment, but yeah, it'd be nicer to have some bigger stuff for that. All squids, we're taking it. All right, we're it's definitely going to be a squid game. Haha, -ha, squid game. Uh, poison dart frog, pretty solid to just like throw to the back. I think I'm just going to stack that by this. And that just works on two trumpets still, right? Or one trumpet, yeah. One trumpet, give two things ink. So we even get to summon a thing for the poison dart frog. Lovely. If it ever exists. Uh, another level up. Like it. Early manatee. Wait. Uh, I have to sell you to get it. Okay, so we're selling this. We are buying the manatee. I'm going to have to throw the magpie to the front to make room for the door head ant to jump ahead of the squid. But we bought the squid with the manatee. We hope to find a banana as soon as they're available. And we might be able to have a cool monkey game going on. Like, we have a lot of HP. And this isn't a bad team either. Like, I have a massive thing that's going to be giving two things, you know, ink. I was going to call it weakness, but that isn't exactly what it is. Sadly. Sadly, nothing. It's a win. <laughs> yeah, that in ink carried that fight pretty hard. Uh, yeah, I just need, like, loads of gold then. I just need to find the banana next turn. So I definitely want this. I don't know if I'm going to bother with that, because I'm probably not keeping it on my team for much longer. This does nothing, because I don't have any tier 3s. Weasel isn't terrible, but let's roll for another avocado and all more squids. Yeah, not interested. Not interested. Come on, game. You can do it. I hope. No, this is, this is just like where it ends. Okay, yeah, we just like buy the avocado then. That's, we would have saved one gold with the magpie, but we get like two extra this way. Leave everything where it is. Uh, got significantly weaker, I think, considering this guy lost another 5 HP. We obviously got like 1 2 on here as well, but yeah, that's going to be a bit uncomfortable. Alright, fair enough. I'll take that loss. I'll take that loss, but I need to find this monkey right now. We do not need avocado this turn. Don't need any of that. Still don't want any of this stuff. I almost want to do that. <laughs> to like keep it around longer. Oh, do I get this for you? I really don't need the magpie, and I can always freeze it. But yeah, I need the monkey this turn. Come on, game. Don't do this to me, thank you. Okay. Oh my god, it's so painful. Alright. I'm going to throw this on there as well. I really don't want that to just explode. Although, maybe I do this. Yeah, this works out fine as well. Okay. Might as well freeze that, I guess. Probably just going to run one monkey. Rip manatee. It's fine. This is his job. The manatee's one purpose is to give you a monkey and then die. <laughs> I guess die and then give you a monkey. How come we couldn't snipe anything cool? It's not fair! <laughs> oh. I don't like losing HP like this. Okay, well now I need to worry about this, because I kind of want to just buff the squid, but then we can't use this ability. So maybe I buff monkey with monkey? Because I don't want to buff a slug. White whale game? I don't know, it's a monkey squid game. Not every game is going to be a white whale game. What's my purpose? Oh yeah, I definitely had the Rick and Morty thing in my head for that. I think I'm going to buy this, just because it's like, level chance. And, I don't know, maybe get another one of these, too. Just makes this bigger. You know what? Take one of these. Take one of those and, <laughs> I don't know, carry me somehow. Yeah, still don't care about that. Wouldn't have minded buying avocados this turn, but yeah, it's a bit, a bit late for it now. I'm not selling something for an avocado. 
Come on, game. Oh, God, the rolls. It's so painful. There's a second manatee. A little bit late for my tastes, but whatever. Did you get Emu for Poison Dart Frog. Poison Dart Frog sucks, though. He's level 1. His snipes are really bad. Also, just got shuffled to the back. At least he says the slug and a trumpet to do something. <laughs> he didn't get the work at all. Alright, uh, I'm pretty tempted to sell Doorhead Ants. I don't know, it's nice for the, um... Never mind, it kind of sucks for everything. It's it's nice to get stuff for the squid, but maybe I can find a Nihal at this turn, and that would be a lot nicer. So, yeah, I'm going to do that, and I'm going to hard roll a bit. I might have chocolate cake either. Hmm, well, I do want this. So maybe no trumpets this turn. I'll embrace it. There should be a food that counters eggplant. I don't know. Well, that's a white whale you kept asking for, but yeah. <laughs> it does not fit in this team, sadly. Uh, at least this gives me a good excuse to throw a squid to the front, and I can maybe just, like, level it up now. Although I probably shouldn't do that. I should probably just, like, it. buy the blue ring doctopus and freeze the chocolate. It's probably quite a bit stronger. And then maybe freeze chocolate cake, because, again, if I do find a Nyala, then that's an instant, like, 16-16. This will, like, take one of them, maybe, but pretty good. And I do need the Nihala achievement as well, so that wouldn't be unappreciated. Oh, and Alexa! Thank you for the raids! Sorry for missing it. How are you guys doing? Hope you had a good stream. It's an invasion. For a second, I thought I didn't realize, because I have, like, no my OBS audio at the moment. But I actually don't have any audio alert for raids. Still something I need to set up. Have a great stream. Thank you very much. It's very appreciated. Hope you're having a good weekend. Uh, definitely going to be throwing this on here, I think. I do love a wolf. Probably not going to chocolate cake that, but... Solid pet. Let's see what this turns into. If the game will let me... Let me play. The servers have been very bad today. <laughs> I've only been live an hour and a half so far, but it's been... It's been rough all the way through. German Shepherd. It's too small to do anything yet. And I don't have good scaling for it, because if I'm using monkey scaling, this thing would have to be at the front of my team. And then I can like only using it use it for um buying stuff from the shop. Which is less than insane. Yeah, I think I'm gonna hard roll this. Elf is fine, but this is like actual synergy we can find for this team. So let's see if we can find a Nyala or something. I think the Dart Frog is going to be going. Uh, you, you're pretty good. And I can also give you a banana and just <laughs> make us more survivable. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. So assuming this doesn't get one shot, and we're at turn 10, so I feel like it's pretty safe, then this should be able to get a couple of good trades, unless we're against a very small summon team. Seven monkeys are having a lazy Sunday. Yeah, considering how often the game is just, you know, perfect, I don't really have too many complaints. It's not like there's server issues very often. Okay, another blooming octopus. Uh, well, I don't hate it. I do feel like the poison dart frog really isn't doing that much, so I think we maybe get rid of that now. Could maybe buy sell stoats just to see what they turn into, but I'm also not sure what sort of tier sixes I'd be interested in. Bird of paradise is always nice. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I could start. I could start with a stoat to see if it turns into a catfish, and then I can maybe use catfish blurring octopus for some scaling. But yeah, I feel like this is probably going to be a waste of one gold. Yeah, like I'm not keeping this wildebeest. Let's just roll it. I don't think I need to pick this up. It'd be tiny anyway. Also, buy selling is horrible when the servers are dying. <laughs> it just makes it take so much longer. Poison Dart Frog carried this run. Hard disagree. It was always at, like, you know, the back of my team, so it was always the filler thing, but it does, like, six damage. I think I'm just, like, buy-selling these as well. I kind of want to go for, like, a Blurring Dark's Burst achievement or something, but we're getting too close to the end of the game, and I doubt this is going to be the game where I get it. So I think I just try and keep this thing alive, and I really do need to find the Nyala. Actually, wait, no, there is something better than a Nyala. If I find a Highland Cow... Oh, there we go. 
<laughs> Way better, because now it can go in front of the squid and uh, get buffed by the monkey, which is also, you know, bottom heavy scaling. So that works out just great. Almost tempted to get, like, you know, get rid of the slug for another crane, but I think I just roll with it for now. Hmm. <laughs> Alright. Slug is going next turn. I'm probably double cho chocolating that. Actually, yeah, I guess I don't get rid of the slug next turn, but I want to buy this oyster. So next turn, I level the Highland Cow, probably stack the crane, roll once. And then if I need, the slug is going. For now, though, I'm loving I'm loving this, my front three. And Jobby, Jobby Budge, thank you for the two months. The Prime, very, very appreciated. Oh, yeah, can anyone play in the view lobbies or do you need the packs? Anyone can play. I have it set so anyone that joins my lobbies are forced to use the same pack as me, so... Yeah, you don't even have to have anything. Like, I make a pack, I make a lobby, and then anyone that joins is going to be using the same stuff. Oh god, please. <laughs> Just let it end. These runs are taking like twice as long as they should. Okay. Bird of Paradise. I mean, the scaling's okay. Sadly, I can't really use it with the oyster or anything, because I'd have to sell two things, and I like my front four things. <sighs> I doubt I'm getting rid of the slug at this point. Let's, let's just call it. I only have one tier six, so lettuce is pretty pointless. I do want to get better equipment on these, though. Like, I need... What, pit of bread on here, probably? And then maybe tomato on there? I mean, with the size of these things, it'd probably do pretty pretty well with pit bread as well. But yeah, this definitely needs it. And yeah, that <laughs> did like nothing. Okay, one more. Hopefully, one more. This should be on YouTube as Poison Dart Frog carried. It didn't. Poison Dart Frog is a good pet, but it's not great in the late game, and it hasn't actually done that much for this run. I want to buy a cell. I also think maybe just getting the Grizzly could be okay. Solid end to it. Yeah, let's get rid of the Slug. We're like rarely seeing anything for it anyway. Let's buy a cell this, end on my boy Grizzly Bear. And you are not on faint, so definitely don't do that. Alright, just one equipment for one of these two. I'd maybe take a potato for this, but I feel like the grizzly bear isn't going to do much for this run either. I'd much rather find a tomato or pita bread for one of these. There's a Nyala I was asking for for ages. <laughs> pita bread. Okay, cool. Yeah, you go on there. And then I think we're done. I think that is probably going to do it. How do you get monkey, banana, and manatee? Yeah, we got an early manatee. I got it on turn five. So by the time Bananas came out, my manatee was on 1 HP. It did take a while to find that banana, though. I rolled like 10 times or something. Look at that. The perfect golden pack victory. Double monkey at the end. <laughs> but there we go. We got the squid. Not bad. We have we got like two of these this time. These serves are dying more than me in the morning without coffee. I still haven't drunk much coffee. And what am, I, what am I after? I'm just going for achievements. That game was definitely the squid, but we've gone for a few things today. We got the sea lion earlier. Squid that game. I did go for a couple of tier ones as well, I think. Like, we almost had cone snail and bulldog at one point. Mm, I don't think we've gone for any of the late stuff, though. I think I tried to go for cobra, but then we couldn't find any. Yeah, I don't know. 